for students this is shri ram shastri i once again welcome you back to my video session so this video is regarding the chapter called evolution so evolution we had uh, started long back and uh, we had uh, discussed the topic in the last video that is about the biological evolution and in that we had discussed about the lamarckism and darwin's theory of natural selection continuation of the same topic we are going to what you call as discuss today so that is mechanism of evolution so how evolution might have uh, occurred and what are the principles or what are the processes that had uh, uh, what you call as uh, that were working during the time of evolution with respect to different theories being put forth by different people so first of all if you talk about the mechanism of evolution the first thing is natural selection the most accepted uh, what you call as discussion of uh, evolution is the process of natural selection second one uh, what you call as uh, further types in that you can take you know natural selection can be stabilizing selection directional selection disruptive selection that is uh, the further subtypes of natural selections we can discuss then genetic drift genetic drift in that we can particularly study about saunders effect bottleneck effect uh, artificial selection gene flow and gene frequency and gene pool and the last and the third important step which uh, we have to discuss in uh, mechanism of evolution is speciation in that again for for the three types are there allopatric speciation parapatric speciation and sympatric speciation so this video is regarding these three important topics so first of all if you talk about natural selection in the last video we had already discussed about the natural selection by taking an example of uh, uh, industrial melanism as an example under that and now we are continuing with this uh, as stabilizing population directional population uh, sorry stabilizing selection directional selection and disruptive selection so what is stabilizing selection stabilizing selection is something where the if you take a population the average maximum characters expressed by individuals is been naturally selected for example the height if a height of an organism you can take or height of human beings you can take or height of some animals you can take the average height of the animals will be uh, what you call as uh, the maximum average of it uh, will be uh, said to be selected naturally and in most of the what you call as organisms the process of selection natural selection is stabilizing selection where average characters remain in the population whereas the extreme characters are not so easily selected extreme characters means uh, average height of organisms will be more selected rather than uh, what you call as uh, more height tall height or dwarf height average height will be more expressed in a population because of the selection of the genes in that then if you talk about directional now directional is uh, it certainly goes in one direction it is quite uh, opposite of average we can take here one of the extreme characters is uh, being expressed and it is uh, selected naturally one extreme characters will be naturally selected either tall height of individuals will be naturally selected in opposite to that of uh, the stabilizing one similarly disruptive population sorry disruptive selection is there in disruptive selection also there is a similar process of directional selection only there is a quite difference in that what that small difference is here it is with respect to the sexual dimorphism okay it is also similar to directional uh, what you call as uh, selection process here also one of the extreme will be selected more but again that one of the extreme uh, characters which are naturally selected uh, which organisms which are naturally selected is based upon the sex so that is sexual character so generally uh, sexual dimorphism that is present uh, male and female characters vary that is sexual dimorphism and according to sexual dimorphism the uh, disruptive selection process goes on so in stabilizing average individuals are more selected than extreme the characters of uh, extreme characters are not selected extreme individuals are not selected average characters containing individuals are selected in directional one extreme character containing uh, individuals are more selected than the average one then if you talk about uh, disruptive in disruptive two different uh, criteria are considered that is male and female that is depending upon sexual dimorphism the directional selection takes place it is also similar to directional 
selection. That's it. Now coming to genetic drift. Genetic drift generally is uh, the process where you know the flow of gene uh, is being controlled in different pa parameters. So first of all in that we can consider about the founder's effect. What is founder effect? Now what is founder effect is in uh, you can take an example you know some of the organism when they enter into a new habitat that group of organism will not be resembling their ancestral uh, population or ancestral characters where will be somewhat changed and now on that new habitat this organism which has come from different place so for example this is a, this is a place and some organisms have entered this here so this is a and they have reached here when they reach here they become a to b and a new population will be originated there so because that founder uh, population creates that particular uh, habitat variations and origin of new species it is called as founder's effect under founder's effect one more thing we can take is how can the founder's effect operate itself is based on something called a saltation now what is saltation is single step large mutation or single step large selection process okay so single step large mutation or single step large selection process is called as saltation saltation is the principle which operates generally in founder's effect okay now what is bottleneck effect now bottleneck effect is very simple to understand this okay you might have seen the bottle and the neck of the bottle usually is narrower compared to the body so this uh, narrowing of the population okay so if you talk it in a simplest way this diagram represents you like that so here the population is increased and here the population decreases the narrowing of uh, the population or you can say seasonal fluctuation of the population in uh, organism some species of organism that is periodical squeezing of the what you call as population group and again when favorable conditions are there rapidly increase their population so this type of fluctuation in the what you call as species population with respect to the seasonal variation is called as bottleneck effect it, the bottleneck effect was given by Stebbins okay so it was given by Stebbins that also you can remember then artificial selection artificial selection is not much to be discussed we all know artificial selection is been operated by human beings and we uh, what you call as select those characters which are beneficial for our welfare with respect to animals or plant the traits which are beneficial for us in animal husbandry or in agriculture we artificially select those characters for expressing them in their generation so that we can take out the profit so that process is called as artificial selections of uh, human being for artificial selection is simple words we can say then gene flow and gene frequency that is uh, gene flow is the uh, what you call as the flow of gene in a population and frequency is the percentage of the gene which has been expressed in the population gene pool is the sum total of all gene sets in a population is called as gene pool now this is the first two parts of discussion regarding the mechanism of evolution second part if you talk about that speciation speciation is also called as cladogenesis speciation is also called as cladogenesis what do you mean by speciation speciation is nothing but origin of new species from a previous species due to certain barriers maybe phys physical barrier geographical barrier or biological barrier so again now if you take about uh, three types in that allopatric speciation i have given some symbols here this symbol shows the type of uh, what you call as uh, speciation which might have occurred in that if you don't remember the definitions try to remember these symbols the symbol will tell you the explanation exactly how that uh, uh, speciation might have occurred allopatric refers to geographical barrier now this was a population it was divided by some geographical barrier and two of them were isolated into two different species same with parapatric parapatric a small group of organism enters into a new habitat or new ecological niche and then it originates into a new species so that is parapatric sympatric is within the population because of certain genetic mutations or iso reproductive isolation a new group arises from the pre-existing group which is called as sympatric speciation so to define it properly allopatric speciation is type of speciation which occurs because of a geographical barrier divides a population into two different populations and later oh, the other one the, the one of the other one you know it will generally originate into a new species because of geographical isolation leads to reproductive isolation 
same way parapetric parapetric uh, speciation is also similar like that a group of uh, individuals from a population enters into a new particular habitat surrounding habitat or surrounding niche because its ecological niche changes its ecological habitat changes its geographical conditions changes they develop into new species so again that also leads to uh, geographical factor leads to isolation reproductive isolation in them then sympatric here mutations are very important you know speciation uh, with respect to sympatric means within a population now there is a one population inside that some individuals some because of some natural selection mutation or some uh, what you call as a force acting on their genetic uh, conditions changes them from their ancestral uh, what you call as uh, characters and that leads to origin of a new species so this is called as speciation now these three topics are very important and in part in part of evolution so you have to carefully listen to this and understand this concept very clearly i hope you might have understood this concept today so if you have any questions or doubts on this you can comment me and i can just uh, go through it and tell you what i can clear your doubts okay so i hope uh, we'll stop this video here itself in the next video we'll continue with the next part of uh, evolution that is hardy weinberg's law of equilibrium uh, after that we have to study about geological time scale and uh, different eras where evolution has occurred and lastly that is human evolution for today thank you